You return again. Return to hear more. Return for a third pillar. It's an interesting cycle, this coming and going, giving and taking. Returning is what you must do. For you have torn in half the very being of one of the least. You have heard their pain. Don't falter. The bones of Guildmaster Kadish speak louder than words. His bones are the bones of Denis. He clung to the teachings of good King Nagan, who required good citizens to cling to their treasure. This Kadish you have seen would not give back, would not return, would not let go. He had long been one of the wealthiest of the Denis, owning more than he could possibly make use of. He built ages to protect the extra, and when the fall came, he clung to his possessions over all else. And so you see only death in his fault. Extravagant death. It is an image of Denis. The people of Denis didn't return easily. They only would take until all was taken from them in the great returning, the fall that destroyed them. Denis fell only a few hundred years ago. All of it was removed. And my journey was similar. I could write things that no Denis had ever dreamed of. My writing smashed barriers held as absolutes for millennia. I could change things. I could move things. I could control things. I learned beyond my parents. I learned beyond all. I wrote ages against any challengers, masters of the art, and they were beaten. I took all that I could hold. Only death can conquer pride so strong. For the Denis and for Yusha, it was death that moved me to return. All died. All but the least. The unproud. The Baro considered themselves as dead already. And so they continued to watch Denis, always ready to give more away. And now they will return.